Oh man. Let's begin. Level 11. It took three days for a level. That I played on average like 10 hours a day. What we get is a feat. I'll stick with a shield better, I don't want to mix. Angelic Aspect on level 13. Serenity. Through seeing. This is classic Athletics, Lore, Religion, Persuasion. Here we go. It's a shield master. Your mastery of the shield allows you to fight it without hindrance. You do not suffer any penalties on attack rolls made with a shield while you're wielding another weapon. Add your shield enhancement bonus to attack and damage rolls made with the shield. As if it were a weapon enhancement bonus. Man. That shit is OP for me. Eleven sixty eleven. Shield Master. My pet grew. <laughs> Bismuth is now really a Bismuth. <laughs> now it's suitable for a mounted combat. <laughs> Bismuth. 15! From 11 to 15, no more penalties on a shield. Now I smack with a shield exactly as hard as I smack with a Warhammer. Holy shit! Do you know what's the weapon fighting without penalties? See what the other feats are. But it's probably gonna be this one. Shield Master. I have a shield better. Shield Master. Shield Focus. Greater Shield Focus. Ray Shield. Two weapon fights. He just fits the style. Let's move already. See what the rest of the fits are, by the way. I just checked the the one I think is the best. And it will be shield master, no penalties. Can specialize a Warhammer with plus two bonus and damage rolls. I can go with improved crit. I can get attack rolls with a greater weapon focus. Greater shield focus is flat armor class. This next level for me, I get fortification 50. A free feat. And a sacred weapon plus 3. <sighs> I 
anything else useful here. Yes. I like Hammer the Gap. Hammer the Gap is fucking crazy good. Both for melees and ranged. It's just great. Nothing more to say about it. Extremely useful on all classes. I'll get it. Just the question when. Probably on the next level. You know what? I took the best one, definitely. Shieldmaster. I just way too fucking good. Way, way too fucking good. Mounted combat. You finally grew. With your own personal inventory. I'll need to equip the monster. Man, you're fucking big now. What on earth? Look at the size of this thing. You really are a bismuth. Next. Gravor. Slayer. I'll place one point into Ranger. And marked favored enemies in this dragon. Because I was hunting a dragon. <laughs> this level is absolutely huge for a slayer. But I would need to respect. Don't need to respect immediately. I can respect on level 12. Better to say on the next level. So I can grab these also. Since I don't need ranger anymore. I needed to do it because of a dragon. Advanced talents. Study target. And slayer talent. And a feat. Use this one. Athletics mobility stealth. Perception. Weapon fights, Dwarven War Axis, Sneak Attacker, Hammer the Gap, Power Attack, Weakening Wound, Double Slice, Improved to Weapon. Improved crit. On a Dwarven War Axis, yeah. Yeah, it needs to be like that. Although he does need team feats, you know. He does need team feats. <laughs> Critical focus is also a must on a slayer. Improved initiative is great. So hey, pumps it all. You did everything on so hey. But it's, if you ask about main stat, if I remember well, it's strength. Because you plan to use weapons, yeah. But you wanna play with them chakus.
He needs both outflank and precise strikes. Okay? Both. And then everything else. But this is the pure profit. Pure profit. It's plus four. Fuck it. You you won't get more of that. He received a lot of new ones. A lot of new ones. Constitution damage. Dirty trick. Uncanny dodge. Trip. Trap find, trail blazer. Terrain mastery. As Lord Nature. Mind effect conditions will scale with dexterity. Extremely useful, by the way. Extremely useful. Especially for someone that wants to get in quickly and burst. You can't get charmed, dominated. Slippery mind is just way too good. But I would love to see if I can get another team fit, maybe. Or improved crit. This is also broken, okay? Opportunist. Completely broken. You can make an attack of opportunity once around when some of your allies smacks the target you're smacking. It's also extremely broken. Hammer the gap is just brutal build on all characters, the deal damage, physical damage. You cannot provoke attacks of opportunity when standing up from prone. Save throws against poison. Mark a prey. That sneak attack damage to all attacks made against the prey, even if not flanking or flat footed. A stealth, familiar, dispelling attack, crippling, combat style or combat trip, combat style, two weapon combat. Greater to weapon fighting. Improve to weapon fighting. Double slice into weapon fighting into greater. Get a third attack with your off hand weapon, albeit at minus 10 penalty. And a combat trick. I think this is easy one. Precise strikes. We get both team feats, okay. Pure profit. Precise strikes into outflank. One level it took for me to fix the Slayer and to accommodate the entire team. Only one level it took. Now he's a fucking beast. I can't wait to see the damage output. Need to ramp up his stats a bit though. What we do with Regil. The army general of Hell Knight. There's a Hell Knight, we get nothing. Absolutely nothing. That a good team fits on him. As an army general, we get armor training. As a Hell Knight, we don't get a thing, then we get armor training. And then we get Force of Will. 
and disciplines. Why reach teaching moment, man? I'll tell you now how it works in detail. I mean, I get more out of Arbor training now. Stick with Armager. Threat improved to weapon piranha strike. You need to hit non-stop like you said, but it's gonna multiply damage, okay? That's how it works. Not to mention if you crit. So... If you get lucky with like three lucky rolls as a slayer or a barbarian or a blood rager or a monk. With just three lucky rolls, you can burst the shit out of enemies. Not to mention if you crit. Only one crit is needed. For example, on a first attempt or a second attempt in a round. I imagine with a monk. With a monk, you swing like six times uh, later on. Okay. After level 16, let's say. And you hit normally full attack, it begins stacking, hit second time, you will hit. Then you hit third time with a crit, after that the enemy explodes. Now same thing applies for all of those that deal physical damage. Or hammer the gap. It could be that it's broken on a monk, but I don't know if you can make a lich out of a monk. But it could be broken, yeah. You lose the second damage bonus when you miss, yeah. It's not a spell that you open up your characters with. From level 1 to 10, Hammer the Gap is bad. Yeah, Murder Gap is good from level like 11, 12 and above. Extremely good after level 15. <laughs> How come Rigel doesn't have toughness? I 
should go with improve. I'll bait at minus five panel. Get a second attack with the offhand whip. Or just improve crit. Fuck you, final now. You go with the protein weapon fight. Cleric. Oh. Finally. Fucking finally. A lot of spells. It doesn't say in description because of multiple classes, every class has different scaling in damage, it depends on attributes, it depends on feats, it depends on team feats. There is a calculation of course. I would take back to back, but I'm gonna need to wait till level 13 for others to get it. Back to back is great. Versatile spells like spell focus. I don't want to fuck it up with spell focus, especially since I get new spells now.
a lot of offensive spells on level 6. A lot of offensive ones. Three levels higher spell slot. Only Maximize uses three levels higher, the rest of them are two levels higher. No, you get the fuck out. Quicken is plus four. Twice as long, twice as long buffs. What are my choices basically? Twice as long buffs with meta magic, a warrior priest, improved initiative, extra channel. Or I specialize in some of the schools. I also got defensive combat training. Trip this armor sunder. I don't have that many options, you know, for a cleric. Clerics basically do not need any feats. To be honest. They really don't need any feats. At all. Buffered clerics. I'm not speaking about damage dealing clerics, necro clerics, evocation clerics. They do need feats a lot. Then they need spell penetration and so on. But buffers and healers, they don't need it as much.
I'm gonna go with extent. Meta magic extent. Shit lot of new spells. I'm gonna switch them like oh mess bull strength. Which Stigma receives on level twelve. Go with greater spell focus invocation. I already have spell pen, so she is supposed to hurt now. See if there is anything else useful. And there is meta magic. Classic Empower works well for the Witch. Very well for the Witch. But I would rather take Greater. Yeah, Greater, Greater. Nothing to think about. Then we can go with Empower. When we get a next feat, we can go with Empower. Let's choose one spell. Yes, it's bugged. Completely bugged. You see, I don't mention spell focus at all. For a good reason. Like, it doesn't exist. It shouldn't be, it should be great. It should work. It should be fucking epic. But it's bugged. I recommend playing Blood Ragers of Melee. What Melee class would you suggest I play? Core rules. On core rules, whatever you like. Whatever you like. You want to play a pure brute, I guess. Since you wanna be a melee. Uh, if you wanna make it fun. And to be able to cast some spells. Okay. Some spells, like... To click more than two buttons. Then... I would play... Battle Cleric. When I say Battle Cleric, I mean Cleric with Battle or War Domain. You'll see, you'll get to choose domains for a Cleric. You pick one out of those two, War or Battle. That way you get to buff yourself up, you know. And your team, you get some free spells from channeling to heal. And you get to fight. That's like a more complicated version of... Of a melee. Now the more brain dead versions is everything that goes with fighter. Fighter, two-handed fighter is absolutely the best. As well as barbarians. It doesn't matter what barbarian, they're all fucking good. Armored Hulk, classic barbarian, mad dog because of animal companion. <sighs> Blood Rager, I told you on my YouTube channel what Blood Ragers are. You know? And arcane barbarians. Very, very, very tiny proportions of magic, but most of it is melee and to buff yourself up. Now you can do that too. You can go with a mad dog barbarian and you can put one point into alchemy vivisectionist. And there is your buffs and your sneak attack and your melee at the same time. And those will be blood ragers. They are just mixed with some other subtypes, okay? That blood... Blood Rager. 
why is blood in it? I don't know what was the name of the subclass. He comes with sorcerer's bloodlines. And you can pick some dragon bloodline. Why the fuck that? I mean, there are a lot of good bloodlines for a melee. If you want to be a death knight and to become a lich, for example, you can pick... Uh, Blood Rager with Undead Bloodline, and then you become a Dead Knight. You have that option too. Scald is a singing barbarian, for example. It's a battle bard, barbarian bard, call it however you like. Uh, instead of buffing yourself up, you sing songs, okay, aura around you. For you and for your entire team. And you also go in melee form as a scout. War priests, absolutely amazing. Paladins too. For example, I play here as a shield bearer. You can pick a war priest with a two-handed melee weapon. I think it was Holy Warrior or something like that. I like that one also. You can even play a Slayer like that. But they're boring, okay? They got two buttons to play with to cast something, you know? If I were you, you wanna have melee, you wanna have some fun, and different amount of spells and abilities for yourself and for your entire team, I would go with a Battle Cleric. Battle Cleric is just freaking great. Oh, I forgot about Inquisitors. <laughs> uh, they're hard to play, that's why I forgot about them. I keep saying that there is no better class in the game than Inquisitor. But good luck with Judgments. Because you're gonna get to pick between 50 different Judgments. And when to cast what. And on whom. And how. And to pay attention on resists. And everything that comes with it. Then to bolster your entire team also with, with Inquisitors. Then the spells. Weird, weird spells. Weird passives. How will you merge Inquisitor with a mythic pot? I'll be honest, if I started Inquisitor now, it would take me like... Once I reach mythic pot with like... Leader Inquisitor. It would take me like two hours to decide what I want to play and how I want to play. Oracle with uh, Battle Mystery instead of a Cleric. Why is Cleric better? Cleric allows mistakes. Oracle doesn't allow mistakes. Okay. Because uh, with a Cleric, you get the, exactly the same spells like with Oracle. But Ola Oracle learns spells, while Cleric gets them for free. Which means, you cannot switch spells with Oracle, but you can switch spells with a Cleric. So, for example, as someone who doesn't know the game well, you enter a map. A huge map like Dresden is. And you cannot switch back anymore. For me, it lasted 25 hours, okay? And you go with an oracle. And then you realize, oh man, I don't have the right spells. How the fuck will I deal with negative levels? You didn't learn Restoration. You didn't learn that word. And you're fucked. There is no going back. Until you're done with the map. And the map is 25 hours long. What happens if you have a cleric? You sit your ass down. You sleep. You change spells. You take that ward. You take restoration. You take everything that's needed. And off you go. You can't make mistakes with a cleric. You can make mistakes with oracle. Same applies. Oracle is a sorcerer. Cleric is a wizard. What goes for wizard and cleric? That same shit applies for sorcerer. Okay? You cannot make a mistake as a sorcerer, but you can make a lot of mistakes as a wizard. That's the entire point of the game. 
what's the plus and what's the minus? As a wizard and as a cleric, you get more spells. As a sorcerer and as an oracle, you get more usages of specific spells. So you need to exactly know the game, what you're doing, what you're learning to play Sork or Oracle. And you can make a lot of mistakes as Wizard or a Cleric and it won't affect you. One rest is enough. Only one rest. And you switch them all. Are we clear now? You level pretty fast, for me it takes ages. Don't know if you're playing the same game. <sighs> Paladin Asimar. Why would you go as a Paladin when the first companion that you get in the game is a Paladin? Why would you do that? Play Barbarian. You don't have a Barbarian as a companion. Play a Blood Rager. You don't have it as a companion. Play classes that do not exist as companions. So you have variety when you play. Different spells. Different things to do. Bone Shaker. Where was I? On a stigmatized witch? Oh yeah, I forgot Cavaliers exist. You're right, there's a Cavalier too. Yeah, two-handed bills are most fun. Definitely the most fun. Huge crits. Great looking weapons. Let's be clear, there is no easy mod, there's only easier difficulties and harder difficulties. So how some classes fare now, they're gonna patch, they're gonna balance everything out, God knows how it's gonna be in a few years from now. But one thing I'm sure of, it's gonna be harder and harder. Because they'll nerf OP classes, and they won't nerf unfair. We still curse. <sighs> What's a touch of slime? And get a fuck out melee touch attack. level of enemies. 
Fuck that. That's Wart. That's Wart. Play it safe. Dexterity strength penalties. Break enchantment. <sighs> what did I make out of you, goddammit? Slayer, Stygian Slayer. Into Assassin. Assassin it is. I just hate some companions. I really hate them. And I think I hate Camellia the most out of everyone. Drove to weapon fighting. What did I make out of you? Nenia. Scroll seven. Now the thing will count if I go for Phantasma. If I go for Phantasma. It will finally count. Spell specialization. Phantasmal showed up. It's finally not a question mark. If you pick it here or here, it's gonna disappear. So on the next level, it won't count, and on this one will count, and this one it won't count, and this one it count, and so on. Bloody garbage. We go with Phantasmal because it's gonna count now. 
Phantasmal Putrification. I can cast Phantasmal Putrification. Should I take Phantasmal Putrification? Instead of Phantasmal Killing. That's the good question now. Faint, fall asleep, receive wisdom damage, waking up doesn't end the spell for a target, it must continue to attempt will saves to disbelieve, and fortitude saves to avoid fainting each round until the spell ends, or the target successfully disbelieves. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take it. And one more. Tip seeing transformation. Personal tarpool. Layer of the ground in the tar. Crazy fire damage. Summon monster six. Huge elemental. Restore a petrified creature to its normal state. Sirok. You don't know what to think about Blackwater. It's one of my next destinations. What is there to think of? Greater heroism, man. I love it way too much to skip it. Even though there's a lot of good spells. I just love it way too much. It's way too good. A lot of good spells, like 10 good spells, even more, okay? She's an illusionist, that's how they made her, so it's phantasmal. And the other one is Greater Heroism. When you play with loons, it's like that. There's nothing you can do about it. Zen Archer, just a feat. I could pick demons as favorite enemies if I go with Ranger. So Len starts hurting demons. No, oh, he's good like this too. What am I talking about? What shall we take for you, Len? Huh. I took a lot of good ones. What remains, goddammit?
Like the fuck what I do. Took everything I wanted. I literally took everything I wanted. It's because mounted combat is bugged. Just forget about playing with mounts. Play in a year from now. There are a lot of feats and spells that just don't work. Nothing you can do about it. He is for death for perception, okay? He just doesn't need any feats right now. He is what he is. I learned everything there is. We could go with alert. This is gonna be plus four to perception skill checks. Or I just get critical focus. I don't know if it's gonna count for Zen Monk with critical focus though. It says attack and critical strike. On attack rolls made to confirm crits. It should count. It should count. It doesn't say melee. It just says on attack rolls made to confirm crits. No one shoots at Lan. They don't give a flying ass about Lan. He deals the most damage in a team. No one ever, ever in 130 hours noticed that Lan is in my team. Ever. What do I think of Blood Rager? I was speaking about Blood Rager for 15 minutes in a row. Like 5 minutes before you asked. A re-roll behind. And after all, I released this video on my YouTube channel so you can check it out. I was really speaking for 15 minutes in a row about Melee Classes and Blood Rager. I never played with Sirocco on my playthroughs for Kingmaker. It should count, critical focus should count. I really believe it should count. Because if it doesn't, then fuck it. Okay. He doesn't need anything else. I can easily skip feats, he doesn't need a single one. It says it all when I wanted to take alertness. I took everything. Absolutely all. Critical focus. Let's stick with Oracle. You also don't need a fucking thing, yeah? Revelation now. Ah, oh, we got Revelation, we got tons of spells. This is a huge level for Diren. And the next one is also gonna be huge for him. What do we do with you, Diren? I really don't know what to do with you. You don't need a single feat. You're just there to stink. 
and stay behind. Extra channel, baby. Great fortitude hammer the gap, procret initiative. Meta magic, maybe something from meta magic like extent. Make spells last twice as long. Maybe extend, but that or improve channeling. It doesn't need a single thing. Oh, you can grow wings. Plus three dodge bonus to armor class against melee. Immunity to ground based effects such as difficult terrain. He is retarded. He just needs wings. Shall we specialize in some spell, maybe? You got any good spell to specialize in? No, you don't. No, you don't. I won't use any of that. It's either meta magic to extend or what did I say? Extra channel for Oracle. I think he already got extra channel. What did they give him? Selective channel, extra channel. Spell focus on evocation. I give him some evocation spells, maybe. He's got enough buffs. In that case, we take spell pen. We're gonna search for some evocation spells then. Now we get to pick a lot. I got all buffs that I want. Now we can get some damage for him. Why the fuck not? Go with spell pen. Make him a bit fun. I don't wanna stink down there and do nothing. Just heal like an idiot. A revelation is a move action you can call upon your ancestors to grant you extra bravery in battle again plus one morale bonus on attack rolls, damage rolls, will saves and sphere for a number of rounds equal to your charisma. This bonus is to plus two and blah 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 combat healer. When you cast a cure spell, spell with a cure in its name, you can cast it as a swift action as if using quick by expanding two spell slots. This does not increase the level of the spell, enhanced cures. You cast a cure spell, the most number of hit points healed is based on your oracle level, not the limit based on the spell. 11th oracle will go 1d8 plus 11 hit points. Not bad. Life sense. We notice and locate living creatures within 30 feet. Then ready to perform melee touch attack. Sacred Council, as a move actually call upon your ancestor to provide counsel. This advice grants you plus 2 bonus in the next d20 roll in the next round. Spirit boost when every healing spells heals target up to its maximum hit points. Any excess points persist for one round per level as temporary hit points. Up to a maximum number of temporary hit points equal to Oracle. So you can ramp up plus 11. You can open fights like this, you know, for that first impact on your tanks. For example, the tanks have 140 HP on level 11. And just before entering the fight, like one millisecond before you enter the fight, you're gonna cast channel, and they're gonna have 151 HP instead of 140. It's a good thing to soak up damage like that. For your front line. Very good thing to soak up damage like that. Spirit of the warrior, you can summon the spirit of a great warrior ancestor and allow it possesses you becoming a, smite, a deer and a mighty warrior. <laughs> Diran who doesn't even know how to walk that you mention anything else. A mighty warrior.
Black Call incoming attacks, giving you plus 4 armor bonus. Summon the spirits of your ancestors to attack in a ghostly barrage. Their fury creates physical wounds on creatures in the area. The storm has a range of 100 feet and is a 20 foot radius burst. Objects and creatures in the area take 1d8 hit points of damage for every 2 oracle levels you possess. I possess 11. Undead creatures in the area take 1d8 points of damage for every oracle level you possess. A successful 40 save reduces damage to half. You must be at least 7th level to select this revelation. It gives ability once per day plus 1 additional time per day at 11. This is offensive. Storm of Souls is offensive. We can pick between Storm of Souls because we gonna deal damage no matter what. Then we can use it two times a day. Over healing. Swift healing. Storm of Souls, let's go with, with some damage, because he is retarded, doing nothing over there when I play. Only healing. So... Let's pick... What is this? Level 2, level 1 spell. We pick 1. We got some evocation, perhaps. Or we do not. We do not. Enchantment, Align, Bear, Courage, Luck, Resolve, Find, Grace, Hold, All, Remove... Resist. Summon small bone shaker. Enemy dead, Arconzora. <laughs> Communal resist energy, maybe. Or dispel magic or delay poison. I got delay poison communal, so he doesn't need it. I got delay poison. You can go with resist energy communal. Chaos hammer is evocation. And I could go with it. Let me just see what else is available. Holy smite. Only evil and neutral creatures are harmed by the spell. Chaos hammer. Only lawful and neutral, not chaotic creatures are harmed by the spell. <laughs> Holy Smite, it should be Holy Smite. Shield of Dawn. Nah, it's for a tank. That's a Torn Mail, fire damage Torn Mail. Energy Communal. What's on Holy Blight? Cold, Cloying Miasma. Of greasy darkness. Only good and neutral, non, not evil creatures are. No. no, all enemies are evil or chaotic. 90% of enemies are evil or chaotic. What's the point of spells that deal damage to good? There is no fucking point. Only evil and neutral are harmed by the spell. Good creatures are unaffected. Gotta have that in mind when I play. Holy smite. Bone shatter, angelic abjuration, cleanses evocation. We end ability damage, blind, confused, dazzled, disease, exhausted, fatigue, nauseated, poisoned, and sickened with cleanse. Funny thing how cleanse is evocation. I don't know why on fucking earth is that evocation. It should be enchantment, abjuration, conjuration. How on fucking earth is this evocation? If it's freaking cleanse. It's hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, there's a flame strike. I love flame strike. I enjoy casting flame strike. 
especially with a Klezi Theorch cleric. Uh, it's either cleanse or a flame strike. One out of those two. Now the question is what? I love flame strike, but cleanse sounds really, really good. Extremely good. Being able to clear ability damage, blinded, confused, dazzled, disease, exhausted, fatigue, nauseated, poisoned, and sickened. But it's personal. It's fucking personal. What's even worse, it's personal. Flame strike. I was just thinking it's for someone to cast on. Bloody hell, personal. Good on a tank. This is the biggest level for Paladin. We get Mark of Justice. We can expand two uses of Smite Evil ability to grant the ability to Smite Evil to all allies for one minute. Using bonus is a swift action. The Paladin chooses one target within sight to Smite. If the target is evil, the Paladin allies add her Charisma bonus to the attack rolls and add her Paladin level to all damage rolls made against target of her Smite. Smite will hurt so fucking much from this moment. It will really, really hurt. And a Divine Weapon Bond. And a feat. And then we can transfer to Stalwart Defender and get the defensive stance. Because the next one, is, next one is Mercy, then it's additional use of Smite. Then it's additional use of Weapon Bond from the spells. We don't need it, don't need it. Angelic Aspect is great. No need for anything else. Chains of Light is cool. Crusader Edge is cool. Holy Sword is great. I'll think about it on the next level. Eh. The fuck now? <laughs> I should finally pick a weapon focus. I don't know I want a player. And I don't know with what. With a long sword. With a short sword. Idiots. Okay, they gave her shield focus. If only... Alright, when you received her, she came out with toughness. And you can respec from toughness and onwards because you receive her on level 1. If only she came with toughness, I could play a paladin with a two handed melee weapon. And they fucking limited this companion on a shield. I'm so fucking pissed off because of it. Because I think I found a weapon of plus four. Plus four. But it's a two hander. They don't do it on purpose. Of course they do. Of course they do. Mods and break the game that's buggy even more, eh? No. No.
go with selective channeling. Eleven spellbook. Bloody spellbook. Communal. <laughs> Another magical vestment. So I can cast it on armor and on shield at the same time. Self cast, swift cast. <sighs> Cleric. Inspiration, fuck summoning. Through seeing communal. Clerics are so fucking good, man. They're freaking crazy good as a class. No matter what type of cleric. It's just insane how many good spells they got. don't need Blessing of Luck and Rizal Mess if you have a Paladin in your team. If you don't, then it's a must. A Grave Knight or a Guardian Armor. Those mods, yeah, they, they're probably gonna be worth it in, in two years from now. When they stop updating the game. If they stop updating after two years. But I think they're gonna update for more than two years.
Classic heal. Like, man, it's so fucking hard to pick, you know? It's really hard to pick. I hated how hard it is to pick the good one. Free allies from any emotion effect and recover back intelligence, wisdom and charisma. AoE. greater dispel magic can dispel multiple spells take the thing communal but I'll probably change it depends from map to map Zora. Goddamn clerics. Oh, yeah, Nenny, yo. Oh, enhanced version of Phantasma. I did meta magic for it. I really did meta magic for it. So it needs to be two levels above. Oof. Maybe you can finally work, you piece of shit. Say we don't like that. Well, or haste. Paladino, what do we do with you? Sora, whatever. We're done. 